Coach, any changes to your lineup tonight? <clears throat> Brand Sermon holding out. What's the, uh, the plan going to be with, with Jake moving forward? Was that first game to try and get him kind of... Uh, you know, with the system of Holden, he's a good communicator. Is it now he's going to be more of a uh, part of the top four? Top um, <clears throat> we were just trying this morning, him with Shabby on the right there. We haven't uh, decided what exactly we'll do tonight. Not fair to him. He hasn't had a practice with us. Um, played the game day off yesterday, morning skate. Um, you know, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But as this trip progresses um, after the tonight, um, we'll slowly transition him into that top four role and where he's going to play. You, you obviously have three, uh, four left shot defensemen. How do you uh, go about this? You're going to have to move one of them maybe to the right side. Uh, what, how do you balance that? And, and... Well, um, you know, I mean, Jake has uh, played the right side. Um, you know, uh, Sandy has played it a bit, but for me, young guy, he's playing so well where he's at. Uh, I'm not uh, not saying I wouldn't do it, but I'm I'm not sold on putting him on that side. I know Shabby's taking some shifts over there, so we'll, we'll work our way through this. Um, you know, as we go, I know Holden has played the right, and Branny has played the right as well. So, um, you know, it, it, it's better for us on the offensive blue line. It's, it's not as good for you in transition. And, and you, I mean, you played this position as a left shot D. What is the challenge of being a left shot and then well, I, there's a skill set to doing it. Uh, Ron Haynes, he could do it. You know, I've seen him do it. Um, there's been plenty of uh, TJ Brody does it really well. Um, I struggled with it, it probably because I didn't have enough skill. But the the hard part is the blind side in the neutral zone, you know, and the breakouts and pivoting and all those things. When you get that puck in the neutral zone, you're not seeing all the ice that, you know, you would see as a lefty, <clears throat> you know, so the lefty uh, this way. It's harder for him to get up there. Also, pucks coming low to high in the offensive zone, you can't one-time them. You know, you get jammed on the wall a lot. But if you get time to get it, you can walk to the middle. So there's some advantages, but there's definitely some uh, some disadvantages on those pucks that come up. You can't slam them back down if a guy's right on you. So there is a skill to it, and uh, some guys are good at it, some aren't. It's only been about 48 hours, and you've seen him in one game, but just how is he fitting into the group, and, and what do you like from him so far? Well, what... What, what's great about our group is they're so inclusive um, at taking care of guys. And they're, all, you know, Brady, Shabby, <clears throat> you know, it's their locker room. You know, they've been here the longest. And they look out for people. They include everyone and everything. It's easy transition when people come to our team. I've, you know, been around other teams <clears throat> where it's not so much. They're clicky or whatever. This is not the case with this group. So whoever comes in usually fits in right away. Do you think it'll be even easier given the fact he has family here? Yeah, for sure. His grandfather was down there today. I told him. <clears throat> bring your grandfather every day. I don't care. Eat breakfast, hang out in the lounge. You know, uh, for me, it's about feeling comfortable. And, you know, when your parents come in town, your brothers, sisters, whatever it is, I want everyone to feel a part of it. You, you, you don't get to see them enough. And, you know, <clears throat> it's a chance of a lifetime for his grandfather to, to have his grandson now in his own hometown watching NHL games. I want him to feel a part of it. Coach, uh, <laughs> Jacob Chicken's agent made a comment the other day after the trade. Uh, about Ottawa being more of a destination, and mentioned how much Brady has has to do with that. How much credit do you give your captain making this a place that a lot more players are going to want to play now? Well, like I said, he, <clears throat> they've done an unbelievable job of making everyone feel included, and now you're seeing some leadership come out of Timmy and Drake and and, and the guys that have been here. Um, but in saying that, people want to come because they think there's a chance to win. That's that's the first and foremost. The comfortableness is great. Um, <clears throat> And, but the reason, in my opinion, people want to come is because they're watching these young guys and they're, and they're seeing a chance to grow and win. And you hope it's the next wave. You know, you've had these teams be on the top for so long and eventually those players, you know, will retire and get older. And then the new generation, you know, is, it becomes the top. And, you know, projection says that Ottawa is going to be one of those teams. Now, you still got to do it. Um, but I think part of that is the skill set amongst that young group that excites people. Does it mean that the general man, you've been through some trade, trade deadlines where you've watched guys leave. Um, what does it mean that the general manager added this year? Well, I mean, Pierre's a smart guy. He, he, if, if we're way out of it, he's not going to do it. But he may have done the check and trade regardless because not only does it help us now, but it's a huge piece going forward. Um, so Pierre obviously sat back and looked at it. 
and and Ch uh, Chicky's a guy that's going to come in and help us right now, but he's also going to help for the next couple of years. <clears throat> and you know, it is great that you know we're not selling off. It's usually a tough time here for this group. Um, and give all the credit to the players for allowing us to even be in this position. Um, you know, with the injuries and some of the things that has gone on in there, that core group is stuck together. And, and uh, you know, here we are at least playing some meaningful games. There was no further discipline for Watson. I mean, he's <coughs> got to finish that check, right? Yeah, I, I, I think they deemed that, you know, he went through his chest, but he was kind of down the boards. And, um, you know, the league's good at what they do. And, and you know, at first, you know, you thought maybe he would be suspended, but obviously they looked it over and, and, and they deemed that, it wasn't intent. Um, you know, Waddy plays hard, and I think he's an honest player. I don't think, you know, he just played with Modern a week ago. I know I reached out uh, to Modern. I think Waddy did as well. I don't think the intent was injury at all. Your, your next two games are against Columbus in 32nd place overall, Chicago 31st. How do you guard against potential letdown or anything like that? Because obviously these last few games, Detroit, the Rangers, I think you guys were pretty amped up to play those games. Well, it's going to be a, a test of maturity. Um, but we should know more than anyone that we were them and um, <clears throat> and we've gone in and beat anyone and Chicago just beat us not long ago. It, it, it should be fresh in our mind that they work extremely hard, <clears throat> Columbus does. Their captain Boone Jenner just comes at you the whole game. He's going to drag them into this thing. It, it, no game is, e is easy to win in the National Hockey League. So we're going to take it <clears throat> period by period and just grind away here and, and, and try and find ourselves wins. You, uh, you're obviously wearing a Pride-themed hat here at this press uh, conference. You were out in the uh, bowl and saw the different colored T-shirts. Just wondering the importance uh, from the organization to maybe get behind these types of conditions. Well, I think it's, it's the NHL and the teams have done a real nice job getting better at this. There's still ways to go in all the, uh, you know, having everyone feel important and included. Um, but these are all steps in the right direction. Even from my first year in this league to where we are now, um, it, it, great improvements. And again, I say there's more to come, but, um, you know, everyone should feel like they're allowed to be themselves, regardless of race, religion, sexuality. You know, it, 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 we're in 2023. I think we've taken great steps, you know, with my kids and the next generation coming, there's more to be done, obviously. But nights like tonight help us get even better. Set in yet? Like, have you managed to take a breath? Or the last few days been like... Honestly, no. Um, yeah, it just feels like there's still, you know, a lot going on. It's, it's obviously been awesome. And um, the team's been so great. The guys, the coaches, the staff. Everyone's been making it, you know, really easy to, to transition here. Um, there's obviously a lot that still needs to be done, and still need to get settled in a little bit. But you know, I just got to focus on, you know, playing playing tonight's game, and that's really it. I think you know, I got such a great support system that's going to help me get settled here. So you know, I'm just excited for tonight and getting back at it with the guys. Fact, I mean, like your grandfather in the stand this morning, he was saying like, yeah, he wants to come have breakfast here every morning, like no problem. And what's it been like being able to reconnect with him and, and this, at this level? Yeah, I was with him all day yesterday. Um, he was, I think he was getting more, you know, calls than I were, you know, he was on the radio and newspaper calls and, you know, he's, he's loving it. So yeah, we were joking. We need to get him a press secretary there, manages his schedule. So. It's awesome. I mean, it's going to be really cool to see him in the stands here. Hopefully, every practice. He lives right down the road, so it's just really special. Um, it's going to be a lot of family here tonight. So, what do you think some of the emotions are going to be that when you put that jersey on and skate out there tonight for the first time? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, you know, this jersey's you know really cool, really special to me. I mean, I've I've watched a bunch of games here growing up. I've been to. Uh, I remember the Stanley Cup series here versus Anaheim. I was at a few of those games and just a lot of memories in this rink. So um, it's going to be really cool to, you know, go out there tonight. I'm sure there'll be a lot of emotions and uh, I just need to try to, you know, prepare for like it's just another game. But uh, I'm excited to see family after for sure. Just kind of glad to turn the page and get a start here. For sure. I mean, it was obviously a, a long process there and, um, you know, definitely um, just excited, definitely to to have a, you know, clean slate here with the boys and um, kind of a new beginning for me. So, you know, I obviously really enjoyed my time in Arizona and, um, 
I really loved it there. You know, it was home for a long period of time for me and my family, and um, now it's a new chapter. So for sure, I'm thrilled. I'm just really excited to see what the future holds here with this group. I feel like this is a good fit for you too, given the age, cool, you know, kind of the age of this team and the core players here. It's perfect. I mean, I have a lot of familiarity with most of these guys, just from, like you said, the age group thing, and it's awesome to. Uh, that's really what you know. I think that's what every organization wants is a group that, you know, a lot of these guys are signed long term already, and guys that can just continue to grow together and and continue to gel and and uh, yeah, it's it's you know have the opportunity to build something special here. Did you play some youth hockey with uh, Brady? Yeah, uh, Brady and Matthew. I think uh, you know I would play up in age group, so I was with Matthew a bit and um, yeah and. Uh, who else? Obviously, played with Brass and AZ. Um, I know Shabby and um, uh, Joseph from East Team Canada stuff, and Brinksy from Mutual Friends and Stromer and stuff like that. So, yeah, a lot of the familiarity, and um, for sure. And you skate with some of these guys in the summer too, don't you? Or, or when you're in the area? Or? Yeah, when I'm in the area. Yeah, I mean, I I actually tend to stay a little bit more towards the cottage because we're about an hour from here. So I'll you know, usually skate in our prior or wherever is closer to the, to the cottage, whatever is easiest. But uh, yeah, definitely now I'll be coming more into town a bit more, I think. So I'm excited. So you're pretty excited about tonight with all the family and friends here? Yeah, really excited. Uh, it's nice that everyone can come because uh, the game's on the weekend, obviously. Uh, not sure that people in Montreal with the weather outside, but uh, yeah, it's just gonna be fun for all my family and friends to be there. Uh, the one that supported me from day one. Um, I mean, it's our last game uh, before a 10 game road trip. So we're, we're taking this game really seriously tonight. Um, it's, this is gonna be a huge stretch for our team. Uh, we gotta take care of business at home tonight. Did you script this any better though to play 1000 in New York and then be honored before playing the team that drafted? Yeah, uh, yeah. Columbus is a really special place for me. Um, I remember the before my draft year, I, I went for a, for a weekend to get like interviewed and stuff, and that's the place I wanted to get drafted to. And uh, it's an awesome place to play hockey. The facilities are awesome. The good people there, uh, really good fan base, and yeah, it's going to be special uh, to play against my old team. Darkus, are you speaking with uh, Jacob this morning at practice? How are you trying to make a guy like that comfortable here? Uh, I talked to him a little bit uh, on his first day, but this morning I was telling him that like, he's he was pretty lucky to be here. Obviously, with all the the young talent, they're all around the same age as him, and he's going to fit perfectly with our team. And uh, he looked really good for a guy that didn't really play for the for a few uh, weeks or a few days uh, in New York. And yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. The guys are really happy to have him here, and he's going to be a huge part of this team for a long time. There weren't a lot of changes made to your team at the trade deadline. Um, is that kind of a nice thing to keep the chemistry and what you've got going, just continue that? Yeah, 100%. Um, you see some teams in the NHL, they add like more than four or five guys, and they kind of change the, the chemistry a little bit and uh, the roles around the team. Um, Patrick Brown's, uh, I played with him a little bit in, in Philly, and I trained with him in the summer. He's, uh, he's a really good guy, really good competitor. He, um, uh, he plays, uh, you know, plays the center position. He's going to compete hard for us, and he's going to be a good uh, addition uh, as well for our team. Are you happy Pierre listened to you? Uh, he didn't listen to me. <laughs> he was doing his own thing, but uh, he's always looking to, to improve our team. Um, and I think everyone feels the same way here: coaches, management, players, staff, and it's uh, we're all in this together, and it's going to be fun for the rest of the season. Derek, they talk about how quickly this goes. You just mentioned your first days in Columbus. Is it amazing to you how quickly this is this is coming? Yeah, a yeah, that's uh, some of the thoughts I had the last few days, and I missed my time in Columbus, and I had so much fun there with the the good the good group of guys. I saw a Bowler this morning, and was, um, you know, having texts from like John Davidson and Dorsett, some of the older guys, Rick Nash. It was it meant so much for me, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, it's it's already been 15 years or plus, so I'm trying to enjoy the moment right now, and we'll see what's going to happen this summer. Did you expect to talk about the capacity of the new group to be as special as it was? Because you talked about the inclusion. You talked about the way you were able to do it.
Euh, je pense pas que personne vraiment change la, la, la façon qui euh, agit. On, on est un bon groupe, on est jeune, on a beaucoup d'énergie. Puis euh, euh, je pense que Jake connaissait une couple de gars avant déjà, donc ça l'aide beaucoup. Puis, euh, mais euh, je pense qu'on est une notre staff, la, la façon qu'on la façon qu'ils traitent les joueurs, euh, c'est première classe. Puis euh, tu le vois déjà qu'il y a de l'air confortable, qu'il y a de l'air content d'être ici. Quand tu es parti la première fois, c'était un peu dans la tourmente avec tout ce qui se passait ici. Tu es revenu et tu as vu certainement un changement. Peux-tu nous faire un comparatif avec l'esprit de corps qui se passait quand tu es parti? Puis là, maintenant. Oui, ouais, quand, quand je suis parti, euh, on avait une équipe plus vieille. On avait plusieurs gars. Euh, dans l'entour de 30 ans. Puis là, quand je suis rien ici, euh, on a beaucoup de gars euh, pas loin de 20. Euh, c'est sûr que la dynamique est différente. Puis, euh, on a, comme je, je le rappelle, mais nos, nos jeunes ont tellement d'énergie. Puis, euh, seulement des, 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 des bonnes personnes. Puis, des gars euh, qui, qui veulent gagner, qui, qui sont des passionnés. Qui, euh, notre, notre énergie est vraiment bonne à travers l'équipe avec le mix de, de plus vieux qu'on a. Puis, euh, c'est comme je disais tantôt, les deux gars vont, vont bien s'adapter. Plusieurs gars qui connaissent les, les deux, dans le fond, puis euh, ça va être excitant de, de voir qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire pour les 22 ou 23 prochains matchs. Tu veux juste me redire en français à quel point c'est spécial d'avoir joué ton millième contre New York avec qui tu as passé beaucoup d'années, puis d'avoir la cérémonie du bâton d'argent contre Columbus avec qui tu as fait Oui, euh, je suis vraiment content que ce soit contre euh, l'équipe qui m'ont repêché. Euh, Columbus, c'est une, une place spéciale pour moi, puis euh, euh, je pense que le scénario était parfait avec. Euh, avoir la cérémonie ici avec, euh, avec, en portant Gila des Sands contre mon équipe qui, euh, qui m'ont repêché il y a plusieurs années. Donc, euh, ça va être la fun aussi d'avoir ma, ma famille, mes, mes, euh, mes amis qui m'ont tout le temps supporté depuis le jour 1. Puis, euh, ça devrait être une belle soirée. Est-ce que tu sais ce que tu vas faire avec le bâton d'argent comme tel? Euh, euh, non, pas encore. Je vais être à quelque part chez nous, mais euh, je n'ai pas encore vraiment pensé à ça. Peut-être parler de 10 gestes que tes coéquipiers ont fait pour souligner ton milieu de match. Comment est-ce que tu as vécu ça, la, la surprise dans le vestiaire de Cadeau? Oui, c'est sûr qu'il y a beaucoup d'émotions. Euh, je suis vraiment reconnaissant pour, euh, pour qu ce qu'ils ont fait. Puis, euh, il n'y avait pas à faire ça. Puis, euh, c'est beaucoup trop. Euh, juste d'avoir leur, leur support euh, puis d'avoir que les gars sont contents pour moi, c'est la, la seule chose que je, que, que je voulais, dans le fond. Puis, euh, euh, la soirée contre les Rangers, c'était quand même assez incroyable. Le buzz à travers l'aréna, puis euh, avec Patrick Kane, sa première, son premier match, c'était quand même une belle soirée. Puis on a fini ça avec une victoire aussi. C'était vraiment le fun de quitter euh, Madison, Square, Madison Square Garden avec une victoire. Puis je vais me rappeler de ce moment-là pour le rester dans mes jours. Les deux buts, c'était la soirée sur le gâteau. Oui, honnêtement, euh, j'essayais juste de me concentrer. À, à jouer, puis euh, beaucoup de distractions à, à travers la journée dans les derniers jours. Euh, après, après la première période, je pense que ça, ça a mieux été, mais euh, je crois qu'on a eu... On est, on, je pense qu'on a été opportunistes un peu dans, dans notre match, puis euh, c'est pour ça qu'on a gagné euh, la partie.